Tony Lopez, you are one cowardly little bitch. Sorry, I just had to get that out of my system off the get-go. I promise by the end of the video, you'll be on the same page, but for now, consider that the thesis of what I'm gonna set out to prove to you all, that Tony Lopez is in fact, a cowardly little bitch. With every great thesis, however, one must remember to follow it with a solid introductory paragraph. At least I think that's the rule. I haven't taken English in five years and I'm a finance major. What do you want from me? Paragraph one. Who is Tony Lopez? Times New Roman, 12 point font, one inch margin, and you know what? Double space that bitch. T chain checking the word count. So Tony Lopez is yet another TikToker who's reached influencer fame through the lucrative business that is thirst trap dancing TikToks. He's grown his following to 22.4 million followers on TikTok and 1.86 million subscribers on YouTube. So needless to say, the dude's got a lot of fans. If ever there was a battle between my YouTube subscribers and his, I'm sorry to say it guys, but you get your shit rocked really badly. In fact, I'm not even sure I'd show it up to watch. I think it would be a literal massacre. Nevertheless, with his large following, he was able to get himself recruited into the hype house, which is all good and fine, but you know what's not hype? Harassing and trying to get with underage girls. And it's from this moment going forward, I have to say that everything I'll be talking about today are allegations and nothing's been fully proven or admitted to, though nothing's been outright denied either. Don't sue me, Tony. Please and thank you. Also disclaimer that some of the things I'll be talking about today can be a little sensitive, so viewer discretion is advised. I've always wanted to say that. Viewer discretion is advised. To sum up the situation best, Tony Lopez got accused of multiple underage girls of 15 to 17 years old of sending sexual DMs and messages and the screenshots of which were leaked online. For reference, Tony is 21 years old now, but was like, 20 and a half or maybe even 20 and three eighths years old when the first allegations were made which is definitely still over 18 and still a big no-no now you guys know me or maybe it's your first video watching and you don't know me at all but i'm not really a drama channel or at least not one that's gonna waste 10 minutes of your life painfully reading through every dm or message this guy sent to girls there's many of them and some of them are pretty gross so let's speed things up and cover the most important one. Oh, you young was a response to this 15 year old girl posting a snap story about turning 16. two messages later, Tony says, I'm trying to fuck you, but you playing. Wrap it up, boys, we got him. If this image isn't doctored and Tony actually did this, then he's knowingly sexting a minor. And according to California Penal Code 288.2, yep, that's right, I goddamn looked it up. He's looking at a felony charge punishable up to three years in prison. That's not very hype. Quiz time. When do you think Tony actually addressed the allegations? A, right away. B, right away. Or C, almost a year later until it finally got attention and he lost his brand deals. Muy bien. Of course it's C, and the reason being, say it with me, he's a cowardly little bitch. Obviously, when you have so many allegations against you that you've been actively avoiding for so long, you really want to take your time and put together a strong apology for your fans. Or you could be Tony Lopez and write about eight sentences on the notes app of your iPhone, both not apologizing and shifting blame elsewhere. Hey guys, I just want to take a minute to address the recent accusations that have been made against me. I'm not proud of my past choices and actions I've made, and I'm truly disappointed in myself for them. I'm still new to the entertainment in LA scene, and I'm quickly learning that you can't believe everything that you're told. Sorry, what now? How does being new to the entertainment in LA scene have a single ounce to do with you sexing underage girls. Hey guys, I know a lot of you are upset with recent decisions I've made and actions, so I just wanted to come out and apologize for moving to LA. It's not something I thought through, it's something I really needed some time to adjust to before I adjusted the age of the girls I talked to. Once I found out the truth, I immediately stopped. Well, I mean, except for that girl that was 15, I technically knew about that and continued to sex her, but I didn't think I'd get in trouble for it. It's LA, I'm new here. This is like the, if your friends jump off a bridge, would you saying, except Tony's just roping together all of the entertainment in LA scene and deflecting all accountability. It's honestly pretty disgusting as an excuse and it attempts to distance himself from his actions in an apology where he's supposed to be taking accountability for those actions. I know these actions aren't taken lightly and were extremely irresponsible of me. As a young man, I will hold myself responsible for this mistake rather than run from it. But Tony, you did run from it for the better part of a year, and you probably would have kept running from it if it wasn't brought to your front doorstep by every single TikTok drama channel on the internet. You gotta love how he also slides that he's a young man in there as if to imply that it wasn't that bad. Just a young man talking to young girls. What's what's the big deal? It's just, yeah, we're all young. And I'll get to why it's a big deal in a moment, but first, let's hear Tony all the way out because he also did an Instagram live apology where unfortunately for Tony, he had to use his words. First of all, just want to come on here and as a young man there it is right off the bat just got to get those key phrases in there early huh as a young man you gotta let the people know they can't forget in case you couldn't already tell he was a young man by his decision to become a human highlighter now we can all be positive that he is in fact a young man he makes mistakes as a young man take accountability and responsibility for my actions and know that they were wrong 
understand how shitty I'd feel. But I'll have to understand this and learn from it, grow from it. I'm sorry, Tony, but can you be any less genuine? You got your head cocked to the side, you're doing this weird, mysterious, squinting look, and you're saying words, but they don't really mean anything because you haven't addressed anything specifically yet. Is your only state of being just fuckboy all the time? Do you possess any depth as a human being? Because I'm not convinced. I'm not gonna hide, I'll run away. Actually, Tony, that's exactly what you did. You ran and hid until you couldn't run and hide no more. Some people might deduce that kind of behavior to, I don't know, being a cowardly little bitch. I know it was wrong, and I'm just going to hold myself accountable and responsible for some past immature decisions. Okay, Tony, you can't just keep saying you're going to hold yourself accountable and not account what you're actually taking accountability for. That's kind of the definition of the word. To be so vague as to say, I'm taking accountability, you could literally be taking accountability for anything. In fact, this whole apology could be used to defend yourself against any crime. Tony Lopez caught beating the homeless. I'm just gonna hold myself accountable and responsible. Tony Lopez sets fire to an orphanage, which he claims to have witch babies. I'm just gonna hold myself accountable and responsible. Tony Lopez launches nukes at all our TikTokers so they could be the only one remaining and make a TikTok content house known exclusively as the Tony House. I'm just gonna hold myself accountable and responsible for some past immature decisions. The intentional vagueness is probably just being used as a way to save his ass if any of these claims actually made it to court. But regardless, he's not taking any accountability by just saying he's taking accountability. I gotta keep moving forward and learning and growing. You know, so many people don't teach you about how to live this lifestyle or how to be here in this position, but I'm learning and I'm growing. Learning and growing and growing and learning and more words to say that make it look like a silly mistake rather than an actual felony. Also, we're back to blaming other people again, as if the sentence just before this wasn't, I take accountability. I guess Tony thought that being famous just meant that this was part of the journey and just a little lesson to learn along the way. And not something that's common sense or taught to us by our parents and society at a very young age. Once again, I'm sorry. Seriously. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna grow as a young man. Ah, the double whammy. That time he combined both of them. A young man and he's growing. I feel like his brain just ran out of generic shit to say and this is what he kind of circles back to when he gets confused. Young, young man, gr growing and learning, learning, on edu uh, learning, educated. Look, Tony, while 21 years old is technically a young man, you're obviously using it over and over again to dismiss the legitimacy of what you did being an actual crime. Pedophiles? Oh, those are creepy old guys. I'm I'm 21. I'm just a creepy young man. And at this point, with this kind of phrasing, I think his diehard fans are kind of missing the point and thinking that it's not a big deal when it is a big deal. While a five-year age difference might not mean much immaturity to a 25 and 30-year-old, it means a ton to the difference between a 15 and 20-year-old. Tony is the one responsible for understanding this, not the 15-year-olds who want to get with him. They're too young to understand the repercussions of their actions. And that's why this apology is so half-assed. Not once is he apologized to the victims, he's only apologizing to his fans. I'm just gonna keep learning and growing and shift my head this way so you see my chiseled jawline in the golden sunlight, so you're kind of distracted about what I'm actually saying and you'll forgive me because I'm a hot TikTok guy. It's obvious Tony is just checking off the apology box so that his younger and dumber fans will keep following him, supporting him, and that's pretty gross. It's manipulative in the same way that he manipulated those younger girls, allegedly. Hey guys, young man here. I want to come on here and address the allegations that have been made against me recently. We don't have to get into it, it kind of seems all unnecessary, but I just want to come on here and say that I take accountability. That's right and responsibility, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and say that I'm learning and growing, like really learning and growing, like so much learning and growing, it's crazy. Anyways, guys, I really just wanna put the past behind me and just move forward with you guys. My DMs are open, please slide through. So to directly respond to the infamous Tony Lopez tweet, so a 5'8 curly haired dancing dude pisses you off? Yes, Tony, very much so, because cameras, cameras? You are a cowardly little bitch. Anyways, pledges, that's the video today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, as well as follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I do things there too sometimes. And with that all said, good day. Don't move too slow. Fine line between lazy and losing control. They say don't go too fast. Fine line between speed too much gas. <laughs> uh, life is a tightrope. Gotta do my best. Get it off my throat. So much smoke in my words that I choose.
Choke. 